What up, squad? Welcome to the vlog. I normally drive to work, but it's 36 degrees and I ain't feel like carrying that goddamn box for seven blocks. I read a lot of studies, right? These studies normally stick in my mind and make me change my behavior. And one of the studies I've been reading is about how sitting down for more than three, four hours a day is really detrimental to your health. So this box right here is a stand-up desk adapter. Equipment update. Just got this brand new 2018 MacBook Pro. 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. This joint got the touch bar. What the? That's my opera from last night. I'm in love with this machine. And I'm also filming on a new camera. It is the Lumix GH5 does 4K. I'm trying to step my production value up, guys. And another reason why I bought this desk is so that I can work sitting on the floor. Because working sitting on the floor actually strengthens your core. I'm on my way to the gym. And if you're OG to the channel, then you know, in my opinion, I'm very weak. Over the last few months, I've been training like a little punk. I lost all my strength, all the little strength that I did have. Now, when I say I'm weak, I mean, you'll go in the gym, you'll see guys doing reps, 315 on the bench press, 385. I can't do that. Like, I'm struggling right now to get 225 up for a set of five. So I need to get my strength back up. If you don't use it, you lose it. And my baseline strength is very, very low. I need to get that up. I'm gonna work on my, ch I'm mainly, I'm working on strength with the big four, which is bench press, squat, deadlift, and military press. I'm gonna particularly be working on my bench press today. I wanna get my strength back up. So for the last two weeks to try to get my strength up, I've been doing uh, five by fives. Today I'm gonna do six sets of three. I'm gonna try to go a little bit heavier today. This is my warm up set. I'm gonna do my first set of three. Uh, this is 245. If it's too light, then I'll just go up. I think I'm gonna do six sets of three at 245. I'm gonna stay right here. So I finished the workout with a load of high cable flies, incline dumbbell press, and a chest press machine, as well as some tricep pull downs, and three burnout sets of push-ups. Workout complete, time to go get the kids. Oh yeah, I forgot, before I go get the kids, I have a meeting with my entrepreneur coach. Also, by the way, new colors of the Bricks Fitness hat and t-shirts, the X-Fat Boy t-shirts and Bricks Fitness t-shirts are available right now at BricksFitness.com. So six months ago, I invested into an entrepreneur coach. Now I get questions a lot about finances and I'm no way a financial guru whatsoever, but people ask me like, yo, what should I be investing in? So let's say you have your hands on a couple thousand dollars. I think the first place you should be investing before you invest in real estate, before you invest in the stock market, first place you should invest is into yourself. And that's through education, that's through coaches, through mentors, through books. And that's what I'm currently doing. I'm investing in me. So I hired two coaches. Shout out to Matt Pilmore, who is my financial coach, and Les Dossi, who is my entrepreneur coach. And uh, game changing stuff, y'all. Game changing stuff. I believe in coaching. I believe in coaching. Get coaching if you need coaching. Go to bricksfitness.com. I do fitness coaching. I have a team of great coaches. And if you get the Life Changer package, I will coach you personally. But let me get to my meeting. So look, Lissa has gymnastics. This is her first day of gymnastics. You're excited though, right? Uh-huh. I see you, girl. So y'all know uh, gymnastics is kind of expensive. So you should go on BricksFitness.com and get your meal plan. Get your meal plan at BricksFitness.com. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you're here kind of early. <gasps> what? Why'd you do that? My favorite coach is here. She might be coaching. So what we got going on for dinner tonight, babe? Um, brown rice, chicken, and some veggies, Mexican chicken and veggies. So brown rice, Mexican chicken and veggies. And 
and kale salad. kale salad with some avocado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been asking for more cami on the vlog. Really? Oh, you got a shadow on your face. Yes, they said you were funny and you were like corny funny cool. Funny looking? Yeah. Oh. Funny, corny, cool. Yeah, that's me. Do a little dance or something. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. Nah, but for real, this right here is the secret. This Panera poppy seed dressing right here. If you don't know about this, grab you some. Right? Right. What are you doing? What's that? Pink oh, lemonade. Crystal Light. Oh, Crystal Light. Mm. This, is like her little, this is her little potion. Would you like one? We don't have any ice drinks? Um, they're in the car. I just want to start this off by thanking you guys for, for watching my vlogs. Me, personally, I think my life is kind of boring, but I'm flattered that you guys take your time to, to watch my videos. The title of this video is The Key to Transformation. The single most important factor in transformation, I believe, is what I'm about to talk to you guys about. That is process and i know that word gets thrown around a lot but respecting the process and surrendering yourself to the process is very key you have to go in understanding that there's no one size fits all for anyone you have to go in understanding that there's going to be a lot of mistakes that has to happen you can educate yourself to try to make your journey more efficient but understand you have to make the mistakes you have to learn the lessons in order to achieve any kind of transformation and when i say transformation this can be applied to transformation of any sort understanding the process and not trying to cut corners and, and not trying to to cheat the system is going to be very key you got to understand there's going to be times when you don't want to do it anymore you got to understand that there's going to be hurdles that you are not able to calculate when you sit down and plan this journey there's going to be a lot of things that is going to challenge you on a deep level and that's because the reward for any type of transformation let's talk about the body transformation right now the reward is significant like you guys have no clue how taking control of your health and getting control of your nutrition and getting control of your body will impact every area of your life i think you guys can imagine but speaking from someone who's done it back when i was 360 pounds i would have never imagined that the impact would be this significant. So with that being said, just know that you're gonna have to dig deep. Like this sort of change, this sort of, uh, of life-changing events, they don't come easy. They just, they just don't. The most important thing is understanding and respecting and surrendering to the process. The process looks different for you than it did for me. I can give you my insights, I can give you my experiences, I can give you the wisdom that I gained along the way, but you have to take what applies and, and match that in your journey. There was a lot of bumps in the road. There was a lot of things that happened that I didn't anticipate. And I really wish I could, I could hold each and every person's hand who is going through this, who is struggling with weight loss, who is struggling with any type of difficulties in their life that I can personally relate to. I wish I could walk you through it, but I can't, no one can. The only person that can help you through all of this is you. And you have to decide and I use that word very firmly because it's all a decision. You have to decide that no matter how hard it gets, no matter how much adversity you face, you're going to keep going. And that is the process. Never giving up. That is the process. And I hate to oversimplify it, but that's the only common theme in all journeys. Any successful journey is the fact that the person never gave up. Again, this can be applied to weight loss. This can be applied to building a business, a relationship. Apply it wherever it's relevant in your life. But just know, you have to grind this out. This thing is a dog fight. Weight loss is a dog fight. More importantly, changing your lifestyle is a dog fight. And that's what this requires. So the process is never giving up. The process is changing your habits. The process is making this a lifestyle. And that's tough and I get it, but I believe in you guys. I believe in you guys a lot more than you probably believe in yourself. I'm not special. I don't have any, any tools that you guys don't have. And I want you guys to tap in. That's all it is. You, you just have to tap in. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video right here. I appreciate the Brick Squad. I love you guys. Please leave the video a like. 
And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.